Is this just crazy, everyone? Oh, here's little Henry. Here's little Henry. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. He's just hanging out in his mama room. Han, just crazy. Yeah. I'm going to update them soon. Things Not are yet. Real. Things, Things are getting are real. real around here. <laughs> plan B, plan C, plan D. We are not giving up. We are not giving up. YouTube, thanks for doing some good research for us. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the research in yesterday's question of the day in comments. We're going to make it through. Yeah. We're going to make it through. Yep. Oh, go wash your hands. <laughs> go wash your hands. Come, Come here. here. Come here. There she goes. <laughs> wash your hands. All the way up to 20. All the way up to 20. I must say, hun. Yeah. Confession. Yeah. I was more of a 10 to 15 second. I counted. I was seven. Oh, seven. Okay. Oh, kind of wa hand washing kind of guy up until this situation. Yes. Looking on the bright side, I think all of our hygiene standards are going to go through the roof after yeah. this global situation with the coronavirus. So that's a good thing. Yes. We were at Chipotle for date night and they had the Perel little hand sanitizer and every single person yeah. washed their hands as they were waiting in line. Yeah. And I, I do feel like that was there before. And I, we just never noticed it because most I people know. just walk right past those things. The coffee shop yesterday, here's the shot. They had a Purell at the cash register. I used it. It's all good. It's so. a good little situation. All right. Woo! Where's that coffee? I mean, not a good, but you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> standards, standards going up. Uh -huh. Let's see here. Do them. And I would just say... He had just one break, a quick little break. Oh, thank you, Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, his eyes are open. Oh. oh. Hi. Oh, okay. Asics or Nike? Asics or Nike? Hmm. Gel Nimbus Light, React Infinity Run. I green because of the iris. Of iris. Right. Coming in. Yeah. It's like, sorry. Okay. Whew. All word and upward. We're back. So much to communicate. So much to talk about. Asics Gel Nimbus Light. 15 miles, 7.30 a mile, no filming, just need to get down to business here, talking about spring marathons 2020, and my approach that I'm taking to um, plan B, plan C, plan D, all right? Oh my goodness, There's so, I got a lot of thoughts going through my head, so bear, bear with me here. Uh, thank you for all your comments in yesterday's vlog about uh, your backup plans or what you're doing with your, your racing this uh, upcoming spring. I am keeping everything. Oh, yeah, it's March 12th when I'm recording this, and I'm not a doctor and I'm not a scientist, but I'm trying my best, and I hope you are as well, to listen to the doctors and scientists and not the media, including me. Don't trust everything I say in the studio right now. Go verify, go, f go research, go listen to the scientists and doctors. I think the media is blowing this baby out, this coronavirus out. They're just exploding it to these huge proportions. And uh, for me, how I'm approaching it, I am comparing it to the flu. I am comparing it to the swine flu. Um, I still think that 100, I think last I saw between 120 and 130,000 cases on a global scale. I still think personally that that's a very small number. Now that number is probably not accurate because testing has not been great around the world. That number is probably going to grow. Uh, but even if it grew to a million, there's 8 billion people in the, almost 8 billion people in the world. A million versus 7.8 billion is the last number I saw. I think we still have to keep this coronavirus in perspective. And now I realize my opinion won't be agreed upon by everyone that's listening, and that's okay. It's okay to disagree. Um, I just am not. I'm going to continue to live my life normally. I'm, I'm washing my hands more, all right? Uh, I'm covering my coughs more if I have a cough. And uh, But at the end of the day, some of us will contract the coronavirus, and our symptoms will be so low 
that we won't even know that we have the coronavirus. That's been verified. People have been tested, they're positive, and they, they, they feel totally normal. Um, so I personally don't think that the, I do, I do not think we can live our life for the next 12 to 18 months until we get a vaccine um, in, in quarantine in our house. Like, I think that's just not the right approach. I think washing hands, I think waiting for summer, all right, listening to the doctors. I do think it, so, it sounds like virus, viruses do not like warm temperatures and humid temperatures, okay? Or sorry, humid weather. Uh, like in Singapore, I hear that the cases are still pretty low um, and it's 85 degrees Fahrenheit there right now. I believe it was Singapore. I'll try, I'll, again, remember, verify. Uh, so summer is coming. I just think we need to press pause and downshift from the media and just keep it in perspective. Like in Colorado, there's 35 cases, I, right around that number, 35 cases out of 3 million people, all right? Now listen, there might be more. We don't know. There probably is more. We don't know. We're, we just, I just think we gotta keep it in perspective. And I know you might say I'm naive. You can lay into me in the comments. It's okay, I can take it. But that is my approach. That's how I'm approaching marathon racing spring 2020. It's an adventure. And obviously the moment any of us feel sick, we have to call our doctor, they're even saying like, don't go to the doctor because you might spread it. Call your doctor first, describe your symptoms, and then figure out a game plan to get a test for the coronavirus. So that's my approach. That's my approach. I'm, just, I'm gonna live. We're gonna live. We're gonna live, okay? Um, and of course, the elderly and those with underlying uh, conditions should not be going and running a marathon, right? It's like, because like, let let you, that is who the coronavirus is impacting the most, as you very well probably know by listening to the news, okay? Oh, I love you all. Like, I don't want to, I, 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 I'm not downplaying it, but I am keeping it in perspective to everything else that happens on an annual basis in the world. Okay, spring marathons, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, where are we going here? Here we go. All right, I'm not afraid to have backup plans. Um, some people said that they will have a backup plan. Some people have said no. I have signed up officially for two more marathons, both in Europe, and I probably will register for a third marathon in the United States uh, in the next couple days. All right, that's where I stand, and I know there's a travel ban in Europe um, coming from Europe to the United States. That only lasts for 30 days. We'll see what happens. Again, this is March 12th. It could change tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. We're not in control. It's okay. We just gotta. We just gotta live it. All right. And like we the, we and just remain calm. That's my approach. That's how I'm approaching this. Okay. So first marathon is the N Enschede. N uh, shout out to the Netherlands Enschede Marathon in the Netherlands three hours from Hamburg. It's a three hour train ride. I looked it up. It's a bronze label from World Athletics. Uh, three, uh, it's a 226 winner, I believe was the winner last year, two hours and 26 minutes. So right up my alley. And that's plan B for me. Plan C. All right, here we go. Moving right on. And again, so uh, I don't know based on the travel ban if I will go to the Netherlands. We'll just see how it develops over the next month. But if things are a clear and things are a go, I'd probably lean toward the Enschede Marathon, which is April 19th, the same day as Hamburg. The other race in Europe that is the same day as Hamburg, Plan C, which actually I would say has a higher likelihood of happening because it's in the UK and there's no travel ban for the UK to the United States at this time. Newport, shout out to Newport, I'm registered. I'm coming. Like there's a, I would say there's a, there's a higher likelihood that I end up in Newport than Enschede. Okay. And who knows? They might be canceled tomorrow. That's okay, everyone. It's okay. It's all right. But I'm registered. If it happens, it happens. Okay. 231 winner last year for Plan C. And yes, you're not going to believe it. Plan D in the United States of America on May 9th in Fargo, North Dakota, 900 feet above sea level, 
227 winner last year and a pretty solid prize money, which is one of the reasons I'm leaning toward it. And gotta, gotta pay for those diapers, gotta pay for those diapers. So Fargo, North Dakota, uh, the reason uh, some people threw out the Eugene Marathon out in Oregon, uh, but it's the same day as London. And I'm still hoping, and listen everyone, I'm still hoping that the Kaylee and Kipchoge race, I'm just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not over panicking and we'll see how the, the situation evolves. London and Boston at this point in time is still happening. They have not called it yet. Um, and we'll see if they do. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. And we have backup plans, okay? So that's the situation. Thanks for listening to that. Enschede, I don't know how to say that. Enschede, Netherlands, uh, Newport, UK, or the Fargo, North Dakota Marathon. We've gone from Hamburg to Fargo. I love it. Hamburg to Fargo. So, oh, just stay calm. Everyone, wash hands. And uh, if you feel sick, call your doctor. It's that, you know, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's go inside and update True Love. <laughs> From Mama. Thank you. Papa. Go sit. You gotta eat all your veggies. No, don't say that. And Michael. Yay. Yay. Oh, I decided on the marathon, and I already updated the YouTube family. We're going to Ensch Enschede, <laughs> Netherlands. Netherlands. Uh, Newport, UK. For UK. The Newport, UK. Good. And then the third option is Fargo, North Dakota. Fargo. So, Fargo. Hey. So, three, hey, don't you know? Wow. So, basically, Netherlands, UK, Fargo. Netherlands and Newport decided on those two because they're the same date as Hamburg. Yeah. Oh, and Fargo. so, timing will line up. yeah, timing will line up for the flights and London, if London happens. So, anyway, and then Fargo, North Dakota for a backup in the United States. Yeah, we should I haven't registered for Fargo, no, but this is not snowy of the weather. It's well, it melts now. It's going to it's starting to kind of It's around. the weather's starting to change. It... Yeah, well, it's right next door to London. So the whole idea is to keep the same schedule right. for training. Right. So April 19th is the go day, and that's so, when Hamburg was going to be. Which is so it's really it's, it's good perfect. It's lined up perfectly. You know, competition might not be at the quite the level of Hamburg, but they still might also come there, you know, like more people. Yeah. If it's happening, then it will yeah. draw maybe more than a regular, than if it's working. If other countries you just do not keep it. working, huh? Good. Tasty. I know it. Lime is pretty, pretty oh, serious. Yeah, Onward and upward. Um, so what's your gut telling you would be the one? Uh, Newport. Yeah, Newport, UK. UK. Yep. UK. <sighs> yeah. So that's exciting because it's not Europe. <clears throat> But it's it's adventurous. It's out there, you know. It's in the yeah. Well, it's right next door to London. So the whole idea is to keep the same schedule right. for training. Right. So April nineteenth is the go day, and that's so, when Hamburg was going to be. Which is so perfect. it's really it's, it's good. perfect. It lined up perfectly. You know, competition might not be at the quite the level of Hamburg, but, but they still might also come there. You know, like more people. Yeah. If it's happening then it will yeah. draw maybe more than a regular than if it if the other countries have not been shutting down races uh -huh. okay everyone we're gonna call it there just cleaning up after dinner and getting the last crumbs you know how it is and that question of the day um how has this situation impacted your life and or running whichever one you want to choose or both uh, and how are you, are you dealing with it okay, all right? We're here for each other, we're here to support each other through this uh, global situation. It's very unique, very different. And uh, so, at the end of the day, we're here to support each other here on this YouTube channel, all right? So we're gonna toss it back right here to the Hamburg Marathon. Six goals that I laid out for my Hamburg Marathon, which I'm hoping now I can transfer to another marathon, but we shall see, right? It's ever evolving every hour here. All right, everyone, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.